Hi guys, it's me, Sunny. I'm back, and I'm actually going to be doing my September to read books today. Um, I've chosen six books for this month, and from my Friday take, you all know that I am currently reading Black Fridays. I wasn't able to finish it over the weekend like I had hoped, but that's okay. So, for the month of September, um, I did choose... I don't know if you can see that, but light is pretty bright. James McBride, Song Yet Sung, it's called. That's way too bright. Okay. So, Song Yet Sung by James McBride. And this book is about, um, before the Civil War, there was um, slavery. And there's a girl named Liz in this book, and she escapes, and she makes her way through um, the swamps of Maryland's eastern shore. Um, it says, setting loose a drama of violence and hope among slave catchers, plantation owners, watermen, runaway slaves, and free blacks. Now this book is about slavery basically and around the time when there was a lot of freedom seeking among the slaves and this Liz, she holds this code that they all use to um, communicate with one another without letting the whites know about it. Um, the book is actually one, it says, that will thrust them all into a world of haunting choices inexorably closer to a mysterious, redemptive, and unexpected fate. So excited to read this. I won it on Goodreads in a giveaway. And you can't really see the cover. I think it's just too light. But that's my first book. Well, my second book if you count Black Fridays. My third book I got today in the mail, and I was super, super excited to get it and it has a very soft, lovely cover. And it is called A Working Theory of Love by Scott Hutchings. This book has got many different elements to it. Um, he is about a guy that um, builds a super computer and this computer is supposed to, what does it say? It's like a reincarnated reincarnation of somebody's father, and the computer starts to ask him questions about his childhood, which makes him very uncomfortable. And then he meets a girl in the book, but he has conflicting feelings about her because of his ex-wife that he still holds a little bit of feelings for. So I don't want to get too much into what it's about because I'm really not sure yet. I haven't read it but should be a very, very awesome read. I heard it comes highly re recommended as well. So there's that one. And then I received one that I also wanted to give away on Goodreads today. Um, it's from Harper Collins um, publisher, and it's called The Midwife of Hope River. And it's by Patricia Harmon. Now, this book is also about... Um, during the slavery times and it's about a black woman she's a midwife and she takes on jobs that other people don't necessarily want that aren't guaranteed to pay and um, she she's basically living on the edge throughout this book and uh, she's fighting you know all the Ku Klux Klan stuff and anyways in short it should be a really really good read especially if you're into the history of where slavery embedded and where we fought for um, to free the slaves and that era right before the Civil War and what the Civil War was about. Um, this is another book along the lines of that. So you guys, if you watched my last video, um, Friday Reads, you know that I am reading Interrupted by Rachel Coker. I'm not going to get too much into what it's about. Um, I did reveal that in my last video. A uh, young girl, she loses her mother and um, she's going through lots of trials and tribulations and such. And my last book is a book that's third in a series that I have read the first two books of and I was super excited to get this book. I'm hesitant on reading it only because the final book isn't out till October 23rd, but I'm going to go ahead and read it this month anyways. It's called Silence. Um, if you all know the Hush Hush series by Becca Fitzpatrick, then you'll know about this book. Um, it's about Nora and a fallen angel named Patch that actually was a fallen angel turned guardian angel. 
Then he had his wings ripped off of him, and he's still trying to protect Nora, but they have this undying love connection that they're both trying to fight for her, for her safety. So um, if you haven't read any of the Hush Hush series, I do highly recommend that you go out and do that because I was amazed by both the first and the second book, and I hear this book is even better. That is it for my reads for September. And I hope they all are great. And come back and check me out for my reviews on these books. Because at the end of the month, there will be a full review on all six books. If, uh, cross my fingers, that I get to finish them. So come check me out. And thanks for watching.